Okay, this should be a pretty pretty short mini lecture, but it'll have a little interesting chemical history in it as well. So it's about this uh, Wolf Kishner. I've always heard it called the Wolf Kishner. I've never heard it called the Kishner Wolf. We'll look at that later. But this is an interesting reaction and a useful one. The Wolf Kishner reaction allows us to do something that pretty much is impossible based on what we already know. I mean, this is not impossible. We know how to reduce a carbonyl, easy peasy. Take H minus, or we can do this with hydrogen gas, right? But good nucleophile, tax electrophile, little aqueous workup, no problem. We get down to the alcohol. But what if we want to go all the way down, reduce it all the way, all the way, as we say, from plus two to minus two? That total reduction is definitely not feasible by addition of H minus. You know, H minus, the only thing that's going to do is just deprotonate your alcohol. And, you know, geez, I mean, we know this is a terrible leaving group. It's not, it's not straightforward how to go from a carbonyl down to an alkane at all. But good old Wolf and good old Kirchner figured it out. Is it magic? Absolutely not. So at this point you should be saying, okay, great, I'm glad it's not magic, but why in the world is this just plocked down in the middle of chapter 18? Well, there's a reason, and that reason is because it takes advantage of the kinds of chemistry we just looked at. This is not actually an imine, even though, as you can see, it is a nitrogen-carbon double bond. This is called a hydrazone. Hydrazone. And that is because it is made from a hydrazine, a.k.a. rocket fuel, this guy. That's hydrazine. So when you add a hydrazine to a carbonyl, you get a hydrazone. And it's that hydrazone that allows us to do the wolf kishner reduction. Now, it's an interesting little bit of chemistry history in that Ludwig Wolf, who was in the late 1800s, died in 1919, and Nikolai Kirchner, same type of era, same general era. Turns out Ludwig, old Ludwig was German and Nikolai was Russian, and it was Nikolai who discovered this, re this reduction. He discovered how to make alkanes from carbonyls. He published the work in 1911, but he published the work in, of all languages, Russian, and it was pretty much you know, not read by anyone because it was in Russian. I mean, the Russians knew about it. Then old Ludwig comes around, rediscovers the reaction in 1912. He publishes it in German. He gets the credit. So it's called the wolf kishner reaction in the Western world. Well, I guess, I don't know. It's called the wolf kishner in every Ochem textbook I've ever seen. But I haven't seen Russian Ochem textbooks where apparently it's called the Kishner-Wolf reaction. In any case, how does it work? Well, how does it work is up to you. The mechanism is beautiful. It makes such wonderful sense. And I want you to use this opportunity to figure out how this reaction works. It's basically the kind of chemistry we've seen going from these two to the fully expected, totally reasonable hydrazone, and then it's just proton transfer. Tro proton transfer and resonance. So you should just do it. Think through, draw the mechanism elementary step by elementary step, and cement your understanding of the Wolf Kishner. All right. Here's some random reagents for you to think about and practice with. How do I go from a carbonyl to an acetal? How do I go from a carbonyl to a thioacetal? From carbonyl to the imine, the enamine, and whoa! Can't really see this too well because of the stupid candy cane stripe that keeps showing up. Oh, I'm adding a one carbon reagent 
And there happens to be a hydroxyl group there. Hmm. Sounds like cyanohydrin to me. All right, so now we're done with everything heteroatom related in chapter 18. The rest of the chapter is a huge, huge reaction where our soft nucleophile is the enolate. And that is the aldol reaction. So hold on to your hats. We are about to aldolize ourselves into oblivion. See you in class. <laughs> the rest of the chapter is almost aldol. Almost aldol. All right, but we'll still see you in class.